it's Hamish Campbell here um, from Vision on TV. Uh, we're going to talk about um, solar vagabonds, uh, which is when you take your office to the top of a mountain or to a beach and you have um, solar power and you have um, Wi Fi, you have internet um, via a mobile phone dongle. And here today we're going to talk about the aspects of solar power. So we have a 32 watt solar panel. Uh, this is a solid solar panel, not a flexible one. Uh, it's quite robust and puts out a lot of energy. Um, it puts out 32 watts at between 16 and 18 volts. Uh, the issue with that is that um, if you plug anything directly into that, any, most, most devices are designed to run off 12 volts. So if you put 16 to 18 volts through a 12 volt device, it'll probably catch fire <laughs> and it'll certainly smoke and stop working. So you cannot plug anything directly into that panel. What we do here is we actually take the power from the panel out through a three, three a, basically this is just a, a dumb mixer which just spreads the power across three connectors and it comes out here and it comes into this lovely device here. This is an antique, it's actually from um, the 1980s and it's a bag for holding a 12 volt lead acid battery. If we look inside here, you can see inside here there is a very solid um, 12 volt lead acid battery. Um, here we have an extra connector so you can just take 12 volts out. Um, there we are. Uh, so that's nice, nice and handy to carry. This was actually, this was actually, I find a friend of mine used to do weddings with big old VHS cameras and this is an external battery for the VHS camera case. I've literally had to replace the battery, it didn't work anymore. Um, but you know, nice thing to have. So that, what it does is this battery acts as a, a sink for the um, unregulated power which comes out of the panel and um, what it does, it takes the 16 to 18 volts and it draws it down to the 12 to 14 volts of the battery. So out of here you're getting between 12 to 14 volts, not 16 to 18 volts. So you can actually now, because of this battery, plug devices in here. Let's talk briefly about some plug devices we, we want to plug in. So here we have a laptop power supply. This is a 12 volt system, so you just plug it directly into there and you can select the voltage out between 15 and 24 volts and it runs um, a medium sized laptop pretty well. Uh, let's have a look. The laptop we have is over there. It's a ThinkPad T410 and this one's set up to be a, a solar powered live TV editing studio. It has um, two cameras. It has a USB camera and a built-in camera and you can cut live between them. You plug a microphone in and you've then got a pop-up TV studio and you can live edit it, encode it and upload it straight away. So that will run on the solar panels. It's quite a large laptop so you can either run it or charge it. You can't do both at the same time. So either you've got to plug the panels in and charge the battery up and when the battery is fully charged you can then actually use it or you can take the battery out and run it without a battery and it'll work fine as long as the sun's shining. So that's one, one example. Let's have a look what we've got next. This is a, um, a small 12 volt, ad 12 volt adapter what it does, it takes out, um, it takes 12 volts and converts it into 1.5 to 9 volts and you just simply plug it in and see the light comes on, it's now putting out 9 volts. You can switch this into other voltages. So this will power, power or charge small electrical devices. You just put a different adapter in the end basically. Okay, let's take that out and let's have a look at the next device. This is a universal charger for batteries. Um, it's got two little adapters there, you can move them up and down and what you do is you just slot your battery in and it recognises the battery and the voltage and charges it. You can also put two AA batteries, uh, which in here, we've got some here, so you can charge up all your AA batteries, just slot them in and it will charge them from the sun. Again, it's, it's, um, it's a... It's a um, just a standard one of these car cigarette lighters, which were a bit of a pain, but they do work. They well, so it's now wondering what voltage it's, it thinks it's an iCAD basically at the moment. So that's simple universal um, charger for camcorders, stills cameras, um, and AA batteries. Okay, so look at the next device. So um, we've, we've we've actually used we were we were talking about this um, 12 volt power supply, but if you want to, you can actually use a full-on inverter. So this, 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 this will take 12 volts and put out 240 volts up to 300 watts. Of course our panel's only 32 watts and actually the battery probably puts out only another sort of 50 watts or so so you can only get about 90 watts out of that thing. Um, all you do is you crocodile clip, cro crocodile clip this onto the 12 volt lead acid battery and you've got mains. 
anything that runs on mains doesn't use up too much power will run fine for example here is the power supply for that laptop this is a this is a small version 65 65 watts and actually this will plug into that and it'll run the laptop all day i think the um Generally, it's it's not a good idea to bump voltages up and down huge amounts. So I would recommend, um, if you can, use a voltage close to um the native voltage, 12 volts. So the the um the 12 the 12 volt this one, which, which is um bumps it up to 20 volts from 12 to 20, is better than this one that bunches up to from 12 to 240 volts. More efficient. Um, inverters tend to waste your power. Okay, uh, so let's just briefly briefly recap. We have this lovely solar panel. It's robust. It's solid. It's got camouflage on it, uh, which comes through here, and um, the battery works as a soak to um, stop it putting out under to regulate the power to a certain extent. Uh, we just plug devices in here. Any 12 volt devices will work, and you can then run your laptop for as long as you want. That's that's it. Uh, that is an example of a portable power station. Uh, this is Hamish Campbell. Uh, if you want to find out more, much more technical specs, check out my blog, which is hamishcampbell.com, and I'll see you there soon.